Hello, YouTube. Um, a couple months ago, I got a call from my aunt, and she was like, Hey, Kyle, um, would you like some old computers? And I was like, Yeah, sure, I'll take them. Sure, let's bring them on over. So she drove a couple hours and was like, Hey, here you go. And she dropped them by. Um, and she she has a bunch in the, this bag. There's like three computers. Here's another one. Here's one of them. That's just a standard XP machine, um, Pentium M. Anyway, uh, but she pulls this beauty out, and I was like, what the heck? I've never seen one of these before. It looks really cool. And she's like, yeah, well, we used to use it on the farm, da-da-da-da-da. We hardly used it. And I was like, oh, okay. So I take a look at it. There's literally, like, hardly any scratches on it. It's super old and classic, and I didn't know much about it. And uh, I literally, you know, I turned it around, and... Everything's, there's nothing, no missing pieces. Um, I was surprised to have, at how old this is. And uh, so I, the charger is really cool. Most chargers at the time probably were way bigger than this. But this little IBM ThinkPad, the charger is really tiny. And I think that's really cool um, compared to the old Pentium M or Pentium 4 uh, that use a lot of heat. Um, this beauty, okay, I'm going to see... If I can open All right, I got it open. Um, the keyboard is really cool. It's got a clicky. It's probably membrane, but it's still really satisfying to click. I love it. Anyway, so let's take an overview around it before we turn it on. Um, if anyone can tell me what this card here is and the one below it. This one's actually dial-up, I can tell. Um, it's got a little little port that comes out. Really nifty. Um, anyway, that, that just goes back in there. Focus, please. Thank you. Uh, volume knob, keyboard. Here's the other side. Um, I got some audio jacks and everything. Power switch right there. Um, half of these, I don't know. Um, let's see. So this is the keyboard and mouse, the PS2 connector. Um, I don't know what these are. This is like a printer port, I think, maybe. I have no idea what that is. Someone will have to let me know in the comments. But anyway, I'm not really good at old technology like this. But anyway, let's boot her up. Turn that on. All the lights come on. IBM. Dun, dun, dun. ThinkPad. Checking the RAM right there. Oh, this thing was really cool to find. I, I was surprised at how well it actually looks. And it's got Windows 98 on it. Um, I don't know if it was stocked that way or not, but you can hear the hard drive. It's also got a, a CD drive um, instead of a floppy disk drive, which I was kind of cool to Kind of cool to see. Um, there's pretty much nothing on this. Except maybe a couple dial-up software and a couple documents that my aunt had. But basically, it's really empty. And here, it's loading up here. Here, the hard drive. Clicking away. Uh, it's got a track point right here. Or you can move the cursor around. Just a little, little thing there. Um, it doesn't have a touchpad like a normal standard laptop would. But um, it's got the touch point. You can just do that. Whatever. Alright, so it looks like it booted up here. Um, there's literally nothing on this. It's got net zero dial-up software. Cycle bin. It does have Office. Um, I think Windows 98 came with Office. Correct me if I'm wrong, but um, yeah, there's literally nothing on here. It's just blank. Um, let's see if we can open up the start menu here. Oop. Here we go. Um, it says open Office document or new Office document. Let's look at the programs here. Programs, please. Thank you. So it's got, you know, Access and Excel and all the standard Office programs. Dang it. 
<laughs> it's kind of hard to do this one-handed, but oh well. I open oh MSN messengers on here. Um, but no, I was really excited when she pulled this out of the bag. I was like, this is so cool. Uh, I even took it to school one day and used it as my main note-taking machine. Everyone thought that was really cool. I whipped out this instead of my standard Lenovo with touchscreen, Lenovo Edge 15 <laughs> with a Core i7 and all that stuff. Here, this is like an old Pentium. Let's look at the, the specs on here. Um, control panel. Now, something that is cool, it does have infrared receiving so basically before bluetooth was invented they used infrared light the same same type of technology that a uh, remote control for your tv would use um you use that to send documents and everything that you ever wanted um i thought that was really cool so i'll go to system here check out the specs uh it's apparently registered to bill gates i don't know if my aunt did that or someone else but Looks like it has the Pentium R processor, so I think it's just the first Pentium. Um, and then 24 megabytes of RAM. That's crazy, considering my Lenovo has 8 gigs, you know. Uh, it is running the second edition of Windows 98. Um, so that's different um, different stuff in that. I don't know. Uh, now, let's see. I don't think... Yeah, there's no USB ports on this. Uh, it's all old school... Um, stuff. I'm sure you could get an adapter maybe um, for the PS2 port here um, to USB. I don't know if it would actually like accept a flash drive, but I know the second edition of Windows 98 supports uh, USB flash drives. But um, yeah, I don't know what else you guys want to see on here. Um, um, hmm. Just a really cool thing here. I I was so, so excited when she pulled it out. I was like, wow, that's so cool. And it looks it looks uh, basically like my dad's uh, Lenovo ThinkPad. I'll show you that over here. It's his work one, but it shows how the design, and he, it's not here, never mind. But, yeah, he's at work. I forgot about that. Anyway, but his Lenovo looks pretty close to this IBM ThinkPad. Um... I know Lenovo bought out, or IBM uh, and Lenovo, they kind of collided for the ThinkPads, um, business laptops. But I was surprised the battery still works in this. Um, yeah, it's charging right now because I haven't used it for a while. But the battery actually lasts a couple hours, and I was surprised to actually have the battery working at all. I was, yeah. Uh, something cool here is literally these little little uh switches on both sides uh when it when it closes you have to unhook both of those a little click and it comes open but if you do both of them at the same time you can lift this entire keyboard up and like see some stuff inside so i'll, I'll pause the video now and i'll show you that in a second all right i have it popped up here as you can see it literally you unhook the two hinges comes up like this and it says ThinkPad uh, looks like a website uh, here's the battery uh, it is not your lithium-ion like you'd normally see in a laptop it is nickel metal hydride which <laughs> it's pretty dangerous I think I'm pretty sure it's older battery technology um, so I don't know how long that's gonna last but for right now it's lasting uh, it works so, you know, here's just some codes here. Made in Mexico. Stop focusing, you stupid phone. But anyway, uh, it's got some paper here. I'm sure if you lifted that up, you could see some stuff. Um, but yeah, I mean, CD drives right here. Pops right out. That works too. It literally is super clean. There's like hardly any dust in this computer. Um, very, very cool. Yes. Do that. There you go. There you go. Perfect. It's back. All right. Well, 
I don't know if there's anything else I can say about it. Um, just very cool piece of technology uh, for the time. It's actually relatively lightweight. Um, I thought it'd be a lot heavier. Um, yeah, the sound works. Um, literally, it, there's no dust on this, like I said before. It's super clean. I didn't even clean it. She didn't either. She's never used it. Um, yeah, but that's my overview of the the 365XD, if you can see that. Um, very cool laptop. Um, apparently very rugged. Um, yeah, just like all the ThinkPads are. But very, very cool piece of technology. Um, message me if you have any questions. Uh, I'll be sure to answer them. Um, yeah. Have a good day, guys. Bye.